to work out in. I got my little pink, little yoga pants on. Um, you know, the fall is coming up. You can wear it with a shirt under it. You can wear it with a jean jacket. And it looks good, right? It comes in pink and I believe black, okay? Um, so make sure that you click the link in my bio and go to Urban Mystic Merch. And if you're subscribed, well, no, I'm going to hook you up with a discount code. I, I think I might just put it on the link itself. Because I know if you use the code MYSTIC, you get 5% off. But I can uh, I can do a little 10% off for y'all. So y'all definitely will be seeing some more Urban Mystic merch. I don't really have that much summer stuff. And I really haven't been focused on that. But I do have um, some, some hoodies. So y'all are going to see more Urban Mystic merch. All right, cool. So I'm going to do Candace first, and then I got you balance, okay? All right, so Candace, Lord Jesus, tell me about my love life. All right, girl, I got you. <laughs> oh, girl, your love, your love readings be spicy. <laughs> see that pretty good. If you're interested in a personal reading, um... Damn me, I have some slots open a day later on in the evening. But I really want y'all to join that community uh, money attraction. I got the candles up now. After I give a reading, I'll do an update on my close friends. Make sure that you are following me and you're my close friends on Instagram so you can see real-time updates on these candles, okay? And they're burning good. They're burning good right now. I also do personal work. I have a Venus return. I have a Venus, uh, some Venus work that I'm doing for a client. I've had this stuff propped up for a minute here. So I also, any kind of work you want me to do, I can do it. Just let me know. And my work is effective. I've had clients since 2016. Okay. All right. So Candace's love life. One fell out. Interesting. And then I'll pull a soul's journey. All right. So. <laughs> it's all right, Candace. <laughs> Look, she got the shifty eyes. Like, what's going on? <laughs> I know, girl, this would be hilarious. Okay, so we've got Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Um, three of Cups reversed. And then Ace of Cups. So, a lot of emotion. A lot of emotion. There is only Cups in here. So this is definitely dealing with emotion, relationships. Um, six of Cups. Three of Cups, Ace. So it's interesting that the card is six and then three. And then Aces represent one. So six, half of six is three, which is interesting. So six is an earning number. It's about earning. It's about earning. And so this is called Lord of Pleasure. But then we have Three of Cups reversed, all right? And then we have the Ace of Cups. So I feel like... This is, it's about your love life, but it's more about, it's more about the relationship with you, like your love life with you, um, so to speak, because, all right, so I've got Sun and Scorpio on here, and the Sun means that we, you know, we've shined some light on, or I feel like this could be talking about shadow work that you've been doing, and that's reflecting, right? As a result of that, um, it's reflecting. And Scorpio represents death and rebirth, right? Um, releasing things, moving away from things. So I felt like, personally, you've been doing a lot of releasing. Releasing emotions and habits that maybe have been attached to other people that you love so dearly, but that's not part of where you're going. 
um, as far as relationship wise. So it's definitely reflecting that you're doing the work. And so it's showing up in the Sun of Scorpio on Six of Cups, a Lord of Pleasure. All right. You're really focusing on you, loving yourself, understanding what feels good and wasn't feel what doesn't feel good for me and in a relationship, you know, and really um, enjoying that aspect of pleasure, pleasing somebody else and other people pleasing you. And that's really interesting because Virgos love to like please other people and it's hard for them to accept that back. So allow that transformation, allow people to do things for you, be vulnerable in that aspect. Um, it's, it's, um, it's a turn on for your significant other too. Um, you know, that you're allowing them to do things and kind of take that lead um, and just being pampered and pleased, okay? So that's kind of where we're going as far as yourself, recognizing that work. And these people or your partner or, you know, whatever's going on in your relationship, they see, they see the change. These emotions that, that's tied, the ones that you're released and the ones that are now growing, both parties see. And it's respect and it's love. And it's like you're... They're just recognizing that glow. And there's nothing they can really do about it. The person that who, you know, you're detaching from um, knows it's inevitable, right? They know it's inevitable and they don't want to stop that glow up either. But then the person that, you know, you're trying to focus those feelings towards um, is just loving it and they want to pour it into you more. Three of Cups. Um, there are going to be some friendships that end. I don't know if it's as a result of this relationship. Um, well, actually it is if it's a love reading. So there's going to be an end to a relationship as a result of this new relationship, Ace of Cups. So just some really interesting stuff. Again, the release, you see the cups are down and the water's coming out. So we're releasing all that emotion that we don't need to have tied to anymore. And it's going to allow for a new type of relationship or the one that you're focusing on to flourish and, and to continue to flourish, okay? So, um, oh, soul's journey. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And this comes back to releasing for me. It's the releasing for me, all right? So you know that you can do it. Um, these strong feelings, these strong ties, but it has to be done in order for you to grow, in order for you um, to open up and be here for that new start, that new relationship. Um, and it's 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 going to be easier than you thought it would be. And there's no, like, you know, all of this, I just see nothing but love from, from whatever, from, you know, relationships that we're trying to move away from and from ones that we're, you know, we're going into. But it's just all love. Um, cause everybody knows the glow up and, you know, that relationship that we might have to let go of in order for this new one, they, they want it to happen because they know that they cannot be there for you emotionally like you deserve to be. And that's a hard thing to do, um, on both ends, the one to let go and the one to have to let go. But in order for that fresh thing to happen, it has to take place. So let me know if you resonate with that. Okay. Let me know if you resonate. <laughs> All right. And so we're going to move on. You are most welcome. And I am balanced. You are next. Okay. It says, I am open. To receive guidance from spirit. Okay. If you would like to give a reading, I love that. And I ask that whatever the reading may be, it's the divine guidance. Most certainly. It's always, sweetie. If you're on my live right now, because I'm flaky with my schedule. <laughs> so if you caught my live, says you was meant to... You